Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. This is an exciting moment for us. Uh, I am Yeti. This is Yolo, she's operating the camera. This is gonna be fun. This is our first shot at a YouTube channel. Uh, this episode or video is really here just to kind of peel back the curtain a little bit with you guys and share some of the build that we're working on currently and talk a little bit about how we got here today. Uh, the interesting thing about this JKU build is, well, it's an all-in build and there's a lot of crazy parts and ideas that we've thrown at this thing and we feel like social media platform really isn't enough to really share uh, how much thought has gone into this rig. So this is our opportunity to do that. Thank you for tuning in. We look forward to kind of rewinding the clock a little bit and showing you how we got here today. So looking back at the calendar, it's been six or seven months since we found ourselves in the Midwest, Iowa specific, uh, training in preparation for 36 hours of URI. And we found ourselves in a couple pretty interesting conversations with our buddies over at Brownells. And that topic of the conversation was, what would be the ultimate adventure dream rig? And how would you go about building that? And as each conversation kind of progressed, we realized that the mentality of the Swiss Army knife, it does everything, but doesn't do anything well, could be massaged a little bit. And with enough forethought and planning, you can make something that's completely modular that does everything well, if not excellent. So those conversations progressed to the point where we started to realize that it made sense to kind of tackle this problem and go head deep into it. It was real easy for us to kind of uh, throw some dreams and ideas out there, but when it came down to deciding what would be the ultimate build platform to start with, that's where the real problem came in. Now, uh, Yolo and I, at that time, were knee deep in a 500 plus day full-time adventure where we were living out of our adventure machines full-time. We both run TJs, we have adventure trailers, and all the gear and equipment that goes with it. The one unanimous thing that YOLO and I both agreed on was space was a commodity. And if anybody knows the TJ platform, there's not much space in those rigs. So we started to look at all kinds of different uh, build platforms and the, the CJ Scrambler came into play and the LJ and uh, inevitably we got to the JKU and it's a really robust rig with tons of opportunity to improve it. So those conversations escalated quickly and really became more than just a conversation. They became a goal for us all to kind of crush. We realized that we wanted to build something that was multi-capable to go on extended camping expedition style adventures, something that you could load up your buddies with and go hunting in remote locations and bring all the equipment and things you need to do so, big game or otherwise. And also throw some of the fun 2A military style tech into this rig because that's cool. And that's something that we all kind of dream of. So we took that opportunity and we hashed out a plan to do that. I quickly realized okay, the JKU is a great platform. There's tons of them out there. The aftermarket industry supports that beautifully and I haven't built one yet. I made a post on Instagram, I believe, letting everybody know I was looking to purchase a donor Jeep to start this build. No other details. It got exciting quickly. At that time, Yolo and I were still traveling full time. It was the backside of 36 hours of URI. And we found ourselves in multiple base camps and, and uh, campgrounds all over the country trying to hash out what JKU was the right one to purchase for this build. And the emails and the DMs and the comments on Instagram flooded us. It was overwhelming. So YOLO and I found ourselves traveling across the southern region of the US heading for the southwest. And we had honed in on a handful of different JKUs down there that were for sale. One in particular was a 2010 JKU with a 3.8 powertrain, had a little lift on it and some wheels and tires. Uh, it appeared to be ready to go. We know through Instagram that we had seen over the last couple of years, this Jeep go on all kinds of adventures. It was kind of the perfect platform really. And, and the donor is something that we can kind of reflect on what its life was before and after the JKU build. 
picking up this new JKU put us in a little bit of a situation. We had both our TJs, both our adventure trailers, all the gear that goes along with traveling full time, and now a JKU that we need to get back to Iowa where our headquarters is currently located. So a couple phone calls, we had the boys from Brownells fly out to Southern California, swoop up the JKU, and proceed to take it on a kind of a road trip, industry tour of the firearms uh, portion of our lifestyle. It was amazing, but the Jeep showed its colors quickly. I think they made it from the LA area to Arizona before the transmission went out and a handful of other mechanical things. I mean, that glorious 3.8 showed itself quick. I think it's somewhere in the range of 130,000 miles. The beautiful part about this is we had already planned a full drivetrain swap. So our boys jumped in a rental Grand Cherokee, continued on their way. We had a shipping company swoop up that JKU and send it up to Logan, Utah, where we are now in preparation for us to yank every piece of junk out of this thing and start the swap. One of the first things I did was jump on the phone and give my buddy Alan over at APOC Design a call and share some of the ideas that the crew at Brownells and myself had came up with for the build so that he could blast out some of his epic renderings. After getting the renderings back from Alan, we realized there is a huge opportunity to create something very unique that we don't believe the industry is really focused on yet. There's a ton of really build specific vehicles out there where they're ultra capable crawlers or uh, dedicated trail rigs or the overland expedition style that is really popular right now. Being creative and having an artistic uh, guy like Alan on our team really helped us see what we wanted to do. And I think that's gonna be the exciting thing for you guys to follow along is to really see this manifest into a real, a real vehicle and something that's out there really being used, not just a show rig, a SEMA type rig, something that lives its own life of adventure. So we're excited to share a little bit of the stuff that's happened before leading to this point and all of the epic stuff ahead of us. Stay tuned, subscribe, follow along, hit us up on IG for updates and let's get this thing going. It should be fun. From here on out, we're calling this thing the Yeti Built Brownells Adventure Dream Rig, ADR. Stay tuned.